Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about my um, spring fishing lures that I use for lake trout. Uh, spring is a great time to catch lake trout. The water is still cold. Uh, they're still fairly active and um, because the water is colder they haven't moved uh, onto that deeper water yet. So it can be a lot of fun um, but you do have to make sure you have some juicy juicy uh, lures to get them to bite. So today I wanted to just show you guys what I bring with me on the boat when I am lake trout fishing, I keep this bag with me on the boat all the time. If I go fishing with um, for lake trout with someone else on someone else's boat, uh, this is the bag that I just plop out and bring with me. Has everything in it other than the rod and reel, of course. And uh, yeah, let me show you guys what's inside. So it is just one Bass Mafia bag and I am able to fit everything I use for lake trout in this one bag. So I primarily use swim baits, um, sometimes tubes for lake trout in the spring. So that's what's mostly in here. Uh, but let's dive into it and you guys can get a good look at what I bring with me. So first you guys will see I have two small boxes in here. Uh, this is where I keep my baits that I have already rigged um, and some stuff that's out of, the out of the package. So this box right here you guys can see I have some tubes look at that Ooh. that is delicious I actually used the ice fishing a lot um, spring came around and I put it in here have some more swim baits some smaller tubes some freedom tackle turn back shads and some extra heads in here you guys will see that I use these heads a lot uh, they're the freedom tackle hydra heads um, the reason why I like them is they give your bait a little bit more action and you can customize whatever you want on there. So for example, you guys can see here, I can stick any hook I want on there. Um, this, for example, here is a five watt flipping hook and um, I'm pretty much good to go. And this is a one ounce head. I primarily use three quarter and one ounce heads in the spring and into the summer um, as they move deeper into, uh, into deeper water. So. This is the second box here. Again, just some more swim baits. This is the Beast Coast Creep. Um, haven't fished or haven't caught a lake trout on it yet, but I do have it in here. This is a Freedom Tackle. Um, I forget what it's a, what it's called. It's just a hair jig, and uh, it actually comes pretty heavy. I believe this is a three quarter uh, ounce head. Some more swim baits in here. You guys can see my favorite, the Beast Coast Miyagi. This one's not rigged up right now. This one is. So I usually just store them like this with the hook and I put uh, a head on them once I'm ready to go. And I have some extra hooks in here and trailer hooks in here as well. So those are the two boxes. Like I said, I just have these for my pre-rigged stuff. I don't want to unrig my baits and put them back in the packaging or anything like that. Just keeps everything nice and straight and uh, ready to go for, for the next trip out. Moving on into the bag. I fish uh, for lake trout with braid, usually 10 or 15 pound Power Pro braid, and I run it to a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. So I have a whole spool here, it's almost empty, but a spool here of 10 pound line in case I'm on the go and I gotta grab my bag quick, I don't wanna miss having any leader. So I just always keep a spool in here just so I'm never without it. And, oh, I have some braid in here for trailer hooks sometimes. Sometimes they're short striking or they're not fully committing and I run trailer hooks on my swim baits. Um, don't usually run braid actually, I just had some left over that I put in here um, just in case I need to tie anything up. And the rest is just hooks and swim baits. So let me show you guys what's inside. We've got a couple different swim baits here. This is a Beast Coast Miyagi, probably my highest producing swim bait when it comes to lake trout. Um, I got one left in there, but you guys saw I have a bunch pre-rigged and I actually have some tied up on my rods too. So I have a couple left still. Um, another one I really like is the Gambler Big Easy. This is just in a pearl white color. When it comes to colors, I stick to whites like this and any sort of, you know, shad colors like this blue hued one right there. Got some Angler's Choice uh, 375 inch tubes. I don't use tubes a lot in the springtime, but I have it in here just in case. 
and some more swim baits. These are just the Cabela's swim baits right there. Like, I don't really have too many swim baits in there. Um, mind you, most of the time I have other tackle that I can go through. Like, I have my bass swim baits and stuff. But, I mean, most of the time I'm picking up a Miyagi and I have three or four already rigged up. So, um, that's usually what I go to first. And the rest is just terminal tackle. I have some snaps in here just in case. I don't run snaps too, too often, but just in case. Um, like I said, I run a fair bit of Hydra heads. Three quarter ounce, one ounce, one ounce. It's just something that I have a lot of confidence in. Um, so I just, you know, keep, keep going back to it. Three quarter ounce, three quarter ounce and half ounce. They come with four and five on, I believe, um, weedless hooks, EWG hooks. I usually take the EWG out and change it in for a strain shank or a flipping hook, uh, just for a little bit of a better um, hookup ratio. We got some more baits, Rapala Snap Wrap, two more turnback shads here, and some more hooks. So I got some one and one eighth ounce hooks there and these are three quarter ounce right here and i should have some one ounce in here i do not but um yeah i mean i keep it pretty simple like i said i mostly use swim baits and most of my swim baits are in here hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick uh tour of my lake trout stuff um like i said pretty simple i have a couple of key baits that i have confidence in and i usually stick to those but if you guys have any um, recommendations for lake trout stuff uh, let me know down in the description below i'm going to leave links to some of the stuff such as the hydra heads and the beast coast miyagi swimmers down below in the description and i will see you guys in the next one